Country here. Welcome back to NFL Fan Table on SugarBank.com. Welcome to Loser Edition. Oh, with me this week, my gay brother husband, Mr. Brian Davis. Who dat? And also, of Cleveland Brown fan extraordinaire, Miss Laura Wendell. Go Browns! <laughs> She's more used to losing than I am. Yes, definitely. And that's another reason why we brought Laura on this week. Actually, we also were supposed to have Ethan this week as well, because being a Cowboys fan, he's a total member of the Loser Club. But he's kind of not focusing on football right now because the St. Louis Cardinals are in the World Series, and he'll be there tomorrow. So go Eats. Laura, talk us. Walk us through this. Saints lost to Tampa Bay. Brian, I didn't even know what to do. Well, Ethan's kind of got it down. What is that? Just ignore it. Just, <laughs> okay. It's not even happening. Focus on another sport. Focus on something else mm -hmm. other than football. I mean, Browns are 2-4, and four, so pretty much they're yeah. done. Oh, wow. I can always look to next season. I'm just concerned that Amy's going to just drink her sorrows away. I know. And when Amy drinks too much, Amy goes to the bathroom. And uh, every time Amy goes to the bathroom, Drew Brees throws an interception. Every so single... Three interceptions this week, three trips to the bathroom for Amy. I know. I'm an, That's on me. I apologize. <laughs> it won't happen again. She's going extra practice this week. Bladder control. <laughs> yes, yes. Pick up Damn. some Depends. Fan well, exclusive. Send some Depends. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, that's what happened. The game wasn't looking good, and I ordered a double, and then I had to go to the restroom, and, well, we all know what happened from there. Yes. <sighs> we also know what also went down this weekend. Sean Payton. My God, Hello. Brian, what happens? We got Jimmy Crank. Jimmy Graham running down the field. Jimmy Graham cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Graham slams right into America's favorite coach. Sensation down! <laughs> <laughs> One time a cheerleader got knocked over, and these guys thought that was the funniest thing ever, and it kind of was. I was expecting to see Sean eat. Tried to coach from the sidelines for a little bit of the game. Ended up having to move to the locker room. I thought they could put him a little rascal. He could ride up and down. <laughs> you could borrow Tom Benson's golf cart or something. Right. Uh, surgery this week. Everything's okay. He'll probably oh. be in the booth for the next few weeks. Hopefully but. with his visor on so we still get to see his cute little face. Oh. <laughs> that was a tough loss. But, I mean, thank God it was Sean Payton, not Jimmy Graham, that got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that. That sounds like an asshole, but I'm just going to go ahead and say I mean, honestly, it. I think that's probably what Sean Payton said, probably. too. Probably. <laughs> think you can hurt Jimmy Graham. He's 6'6", 260. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Speaking of injured Peytons. Oh, oh! My Peyton Hillis, oh who my has a, another injury. What is it? Is it a cold sore this time? Or strep throat? <laughs> Mono? Blister? No. <laughs> Hamstring. So, probably a football injury. Um, Wait, did, did his agent tell him to sit out? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Because oh, he did okay. play two plays in the fourth quarter. Oh, okay. Which were kind of conspicuous. But... You never know. Yikes. Who knows with Peyton but Lewis? He did have a big game with all those rushing yards. <laughs> he had 14 whole rushing yards, which Drew Brees picked up more. In the, for, in the first quarter, which is... Well, that's what Drew Brees is known for. Right? Rushing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So there you go. Hey, Cole McCoy, take a lesson. <laughs> okay, buck up, McCoy. Speaking of injured Peytons. Yes. Oh, Lord, yes. There's one more. <laughs> Peyton Manning, who, you know, we never want to miss an opportunity to bring up Peyton Manning's name. You know, remember when the Saints beat him? Super Bowl 44. So the Colts are uh, going to be in New Orleans this weekend, and Peyton Manning will be probably combing the sidelines or something. Hanging out on Bourbon Street, having a beer or something. Right. Get better soon, Peyton. The Colts miss you. I did actually see Peyton this week. He was um, at the Tennessee game, <laughs> Tennessee LSU. Oh. Stayed on the sidelines, was not playing there either. Who else have you seen lately, Brian? Um, I did run into Scott Fujita. My pseudo-boyfriend. You totally just spit Fujita on my face. <laughs> <laughs> She's got Fujita all over her. got Fujita all over me. Fujita did get a concussion oh, and he was out. Okay. But Brian got I'll give him a call and check up and I'll make sure he's okay because we're real close now. I ran into him to San Francisco International Airport. SFO. LAX. Yeah. That's why. What's up, airport code? What's up? <laughs> well, we hung out. We talked for about 20 minutes. He got up on my Hertz Gold Club. Wow. That Love great. that man. Oh, yeah, he had a buy that weekend, right? It's not the only thing I was hoping was buy that weekend. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I thought there was more than that. <laughs> That's it. All right, speaking of winners, I'm one fantasy, five and one. Not doing too bad. Brian, you're doing pretty well as well. I'm six and oh. I'd say that's doing pretty good. Both wow. better than the Browns. <laughs> oh, together. <laughs> I got a little trick for pulling together my Magic Fantasy team. Okay, that's right. Brian goes online to order fantasy. He gets very confused and he ends up with some hot players. <laughs> it works, though. I got Jordy, Nelson. Yeah. got Jordy Nelson from Green Bay, adorable with his little ears. 
I got Jimmy Graham, America's favorite blinger. Oh, 66260. Who doesn't love him? Mm -mm. And, uh, my <laughs> <laughs> and my quarterback is Tom Brady. I hear that some people consider him traditionally attractive. <laughs> or <laughs> sold his soul to the devil. Either one. <laughs> Whatever, it gives me right. points. It gives me points. That's all I'm Wow. Matters. Well, congrats. Keep up the winning. And hopefully maybe you guys will get a win this next week. We'll see. Okay. All right. Before we Fingers go, crossed. <laughs> before we go, let's talk about gifts. Now the real good stuff is kind of dried up, so I got some free shit here. This is a Coors Light koozie, thanks to the lovely Coors Light ladies at Big Wang this weekend. <laughs> My Coors Light ladies are keeping me in a Coors Light football bottle opener keychain, but uh, unlike Amy, they wanted to take my picture with my gift. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want a picture of me. Shocking. And Fan Table super fan, oh, Gail Wendell, Gail Wendell. Sent this not free. Yeah, that's nice. that's nice. Very nice. Thank you, Mom. So feel free to send a gift. Keep coming our way, especially on weeks when we lose. Gifts make us feel a lot better. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. What are you going to say, Brian? You going to say something? I was going to say, gifts make us feel better when we win, too. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Because I want to appreciate it. <laughs> send us to appreciate, y'all. I'm Amy Richard, my gay brothers, and Brian Davis, and Laura Wendell. Thanks for tuning in. Who did?